Oh, hey guys, hi. Hi there, it's me, Jess Lane. <laughs> that, this is Joshua Rush. <laughs> um, okay, so yeah, Joshua Rush. But we are going to be doing multi-step inequalities. Well, yeah, I don't know how to do that. I'll teach you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so first of all, um, the, we're gonna talk about the steps. So the first step, this is multi-step, so there's steps that you'll take. You might not do all of them, but you need to check for them. So the first step is distributive property. You check the left and right side to see if there's distributive property. <laughs> and then the second step is to combine like terms on Wait, either you're going side. Too fast. Um, you don't have to write them all down. I'm it's to it. combine like terms on either side of the equation. And then the third step is to get the variables on one side of the equation or one side of the inequality. Sorry, inequality. And then um, you just solve like a two-step inequality like normal. You want to isolate the variable. So it's inequalities. They have the same steps as, and there you go, those are the first two steps. They have the same steps as equations, except there's one step that's different. Uh -oh. The step that's different is if you multiply or divide by a negative to solve, then you flip the sign. So for example, if you have like negative 3x, negative 3x is greater than nine, you would divide, divide by negative three and yeah. divide by negative three and then the sign itself flips so it becomes x is less than Negative, negative three. three. Yeah, so Josh is right. So since we divided by a negative, the sign flips. So that is the only rule that's different than um, solving equations. So let's gotcha. do a few. And I'm oh. gonna go through, I'm gonna do one first and then Josh will take you through the next one. Oh, God. Okay, so this one, 5n minus two, Josh, you can write it though. I ain't writing that, that looks difficult. <laughs> okay, so I numbers. split this down um, to make a left side and a right side where the inequality sign is. So now I'm gonna go through my steps. So the first step is distributive property. So I check the left side and right side. We have distributive property on both of them. So I'm gonna distribute this five out to everything. And so I get five in minus 10 because five times in is five in and then five times two is 10. That so rhymes. I'm doing distributive property. Now we're gonna do the four, okay? So four times n is four n, and then four times six is- 24. 24. I was right. Very good. So now you have this, we've done distributive property. The next step is to combine like terms on the left and right side. So I check the left side. There's nothing that we need to combine there. I check the right, so, or the right side here, if I'm looking at it, there's nothing that I need to combine here. How do okay. I know which side is correct? Which side is the right side? It doesn't matter. And we're back, ladies and gentlemen, with another edition of... Uh, no, we're not Jess back. Lane forgets to... Um, okay, so we have this, and we're gonna solve it. So the third step is to get the variables on one side of the inequality. So I like to move the smallest but Jess, one. how do you do that? Uh, I'll tell you. I like to move the smallest one, so the 4n, so since it's um, plus 4n, it's a positive 4n, the opposite of addition is subtraction. So I'm going to subtract. And again, these are the steps to solving multi-step equations as well. So if you have trouble with that, I have a video on multi-step equations that you can go watch. So 5n minus 4n is n, so we have n minus 10 on the left side, and then we just have 24 left on the right side there. And so we're still solving for n, so we wanna get rid of this 10, so we're gonna add 10 to both sides. Okay, you're gonna add 10 to both sides. You solve it just like an equation. But Jess, how do you do that? Good, thank you. So you add 10 to both sides. Oh, and then you're just left with the one variable, making it n is greater than 34. You are I correct. I understand, I've learned so much, Jess. Thank you, so n is greater than 34, okay? So that is how you solve it. Now, um, to graph this, so I'm gonna erase my board and we're gonna graph n is greater than 34. Well, you, you, our <laughs> graphs only have 10 up and 10 down. Well, you graph, no, that's, so you graph on a number line and so n is greater than 34. This tells me if it's open or closed circle. If there's no line underneath, we do an open circle on 34 and we shade to the right because it's a greater than sign. So if I had a number line and let's say there was 34 here, 
open circle, shade to the right, because it's a greater than sign. And then it goes on for how long? It goes on forever. So Whoa. it's N is greater than 34, so open circle, shade to the right. Okay, you want to see if you can do one, Josh? No. What's, what's my problem, Jess? What's, what, is, what should I do? Okay, so this one's a little hard. No, I'm doing it on my own. You, you can't race oh. me. Jess likes to race me when we do problems. I'm not racing you, I'm writing it so you can write it. Five, K minus four. I hope I don't screw this up. Minus two K plus six. Oh man, is less than or equal to five, 51? No, five K plus one. K plus. And then minus one. one. Minus, oh my God. So here's Jess. our problem that we're going to do. Okay, he's going to solve this. So he's gonna take you. I'm gonna take you through the steps. The first step is distribute okay. a property. Distribute. So it makes it five k minus twenty minus two k uh, minus 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 twelve is less than or equal to five uh, k plus five minus one so then we have there you that go. so then, you oh. have to show them what you're doing josh so what he did is distribute this five so five times k is five k five times four i have is, great handwriting <laughs> yeah so five times four is 20 and then minus 2k is 2k and then minus 2 times 6 is minus 12. so all he did was distribute so now what's the second step josh so you know? then i'm doing um three k uh, so Combine. now I'm, I'm combining like terms. Yeah. Um, what a meme. Am I right? No. Um, 5k plus 4. Okay, so uh, then we get 3k minus 32 uh, is less than or equal to 5k plus 4. And then... Oh yeah, and then it's all just... So you have stuff that. So up. we combined so like we terms. So 5k minus 2k is 3k, and then negative 20 minus 12 is minus 32. And then over here, we combined 5 minus 1, which is 4. Okay, so... I did it. You combined. Okay. Now what oh, did wait, you I do? I gotta divide. But what did you do? What did uh, you do? I, I combined like terms, and then I moved all of the things with the same variable. So like, even if it didn't have a variable, so like I moved the... No, all the numbers to one side, and I moved all yeah. the letters. So what to one he side. did actually was he subtracted three k from both sides. So he's moving the three k. So five minus three k is two k plus four, and then we have negative thirty two is less than or equal to two k plus four. And then you divide by two, and you get negative well, eighteen. You're ahead is of less you're, you're ahead of us. So what did you do from this? I divide by two. No, not yet. Oh, then I, where are you? Oh, right and now. then I moved that four over to the other side so that I got minus 36. So you subtracted four from, because you have to do the inverse operation. Inverse operation, subtracted four from both sides. And then, and then you can divide by two. Okay, so you get negative 18 is less than or equal to K. This is actually a good, um, cause once you get negative 36, cause negative 32 minus four is negative 36 divided by two. This is actually a good example because we don't have the variable on the left side. We always want to write inequalities with the variable on the left side because it makes it easier when we graph it. So what we're going to do is we're going to switch the order of the K and the 18 K and the negative 18. But if we do that, then we have to flip the sign. Okay, so we have k is greater than or equal to negative 18. Okay, so when we graph that, Did I do it right. I didn't see your graph, you erased it. The people saw it. Post <laughs> in the comments below right now if you saw Josh's graph and uh, get it trending on Twitter hashtag jrizzlegraph. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, Jess, can you make an overlay when you edit this that says sure. jrizzlegraph? Thank you. No. <laughs> so with this one, k is greater than or equal to negative 18. All you do is it's a closed circle because it has an or equal to. So if it has an or equal to, it's a closed circle and it's a greater than sign. So that's we shade to the right. Okay, guys, we're still doing. Whoa! How, how did I get here? <laughs> Where am I? <laughs>
I guess Hi, Josh. Luke. Hey, hey, how's it um, going, Jess? I don't know where Josh went. So I guess Josh just had to go. Well, yeah. But, uh, so I guess we'll I'm finish with be Luke. Here. Okay. So we're still doing multi-step inequalities. This is our last one. X is less than or um, is less than two x minus fifteen over three. Luke, take us how to do it. All right. So first, you gotta isolate that division number. Divisible, that's not right. Anyway, you gotta multiply this by three. Yeah, multiply both sides by three. So you can, because it's too hard to work with the, uh, With fractions. Fractions, yeah. So you wanna get always get rid of the denominator first. So you got that. Then it turns into three x is less than two x minus 15, like so. Yeah. Then you gotta isolate one side with the variable. So one side is variable, one side is number. So mm -hmm. since this is smaller, why not? Oh, that's what I do too. Yeah. I move the smaller Let's one. Let's do, I don't like working with yeah. negative, okay. Anyway, you have the yeah. <laughs> minus two X on both sides, which turns to X is less than negative 15. Easy, no even flipping the sign or anything. Nope, we don't even have to flip sign. That's Yay. it. So let's review the steps. So the first step is to see if there's a distributive property. Second step is combine like terms on either side. Third step is to get the variables on either side of the equation. And then the fourth step is you just solve like an equation once the variable is on um, one of the sides of the inequality. So there you go. Thanks, Luke, for coming in here. That's of course. I, yeah, I, I think there's like some teleporters on there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, okay, see ya. <laughs>